Do you have strong memories of bringing your lunch to school as a kid? Because Eater.com looked into what it was like for immigrant kids and found that not everyone was embarrassed about their food, but scenes from TV shows and movies made them feel kind of like they should be. So Abby, did you ever experience anything like that? Did you bring your lunch to school? I did bring my lunch to school. Uh, I do, I, to be honest, I read the article and I was like, oh yeah, like, I don't know if I felt any like shame or like embarrassment from the lunches I had, but I also did a really good job of begging my mom for like, you know, sometimes my dad would bring me McDonald's and I was like the cool kid in class, <laughs> but I felt, you know, like I definitely always wanted the more generic lunch like the sandwiches like I remember having roast beef sandwiches all the time and um like I would beg my mom to make me craft dinner and then put it in a thermos which yes. by the end of the school year was like stained orange because <laughs> plastic just got <laughs> all that craft dinner <laughs> cheese on it but I mean yeah I don't I personally didn't get you know ridiculed for bringing anything ethnic to school when I did but I also grew up in a pretty diverse uh, area of Mississauga Stefan, what about you? Yeah, no, I uh, have a similar experience as Abby. I grew up in a very diverse neighborhood here in the nation's capital. And what I find of, kind of noticed is that there was a little bit of a hierarchy when it came to lunches. Um, you know, Francesco <laughs> would come with his thermos and had the ultimate Italian mother. And it was always like, ooh, what's Franco got today? Buffalo wings, <laughs> hot dogs stuck in there, you know, meatballs. And it's like, wow. You know, I crafted it pretty basic myself because I'm a simple guy. I'm good with PB and J. But then my Somali brothers and sisters would come with their samosas or, you know, even a Nutella sandwich. And you kind of get people looking like, oh, well, what's that? I'm not used to that scent. Or why is your peanut butter so dark? And now we know that Nutella is like a gourmet item that you can gift at Christmas and everyone's <laughs> fallen in love with this hazelnut spread. So there has been a little bit of a hierarchy. And I, I also remember the cool kids, cause again, very diverse. If they're Cambodian or Vietnamese or Chinese with a single use ramen noodle packs. And I remember telling my mom, I need this. I need this to take yeah. this onto the schoolyard <laughs> at recess. And she's like, okay, do you, do you want me to cook it for you? And I was like, no, we eat it raw. We just smush them up and we just eat it raw. And she's like, okay. But that was like the hierarchy that I went through, but never really any shame. Can I squeeze I in a that. comment I, I, from, um, from Jacqueline on Facebook? She says, I'm Chilean Canadian and was made fun of for my avocado sandwiches at school, so I can relate. Same thing happened to my daughter, but now avocados are apparently trendy. I guess we were ahead of the time. Still eat avocado toast almost daily for lunch. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Jacqueline. That's adorable. What goes around comes around, funny enough. Yeah.